<laughs> Why am I so awkward? Hola mi bella gente, how are you doing? I hope you are doing great. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a habit tracker on Excel plus a graph. Yeah, that is pretty, pretty cool. I know. But I am so excited for this tutorial because I just think Excel is such a powerful tool and if you can do these things, you can pretty much learn how to do anything else on Excel. So this video is one of three, so make sure to watch the other two to get most the most out of these tutorials and those links will be down below in the description box. I feel like each of these tutorials has been kind of like learning how to bullet journal on Excel. I don't know that's just me but yeah <laughs> so without further ado let's jump into the video all right girl if you are all about getting your life together this habit tracker is for you all right first thing we're gonna do is select cell a2 hold down that shift key and then go over to c3 and let's merge these cells together now we're just gonna add a border around this cell bring your horizontal alignment to the left and your vertical alignment to the middle and then choose your font I'm choosing font Montserrat and your font size now double tap your cell and type in habits okay now let's merge cells a4 with c6 add a border around it we're gonna keep our horizontal and vertical alignment the same and then we're gonna wrap our text just in case our text exceeds the length of our cell Next, you're gonna choose your font and your font size. And now you're just gonna select that cell, click on the little blue square on the bottom right, and drag it down as far as you want for however many habits you wanna create. Alrighty, so now let's make the little squares where we're gonna fill in for our habit tracking. Select column D, and then go all the way to column R. Don't forget to hold down the shift key. Once all of these columns are highlighted, hover your mouse over the blue line to the right of column R. When you see the little arrow pop up, click and slowly drag that line until you are satisfied with the size of all the cells. And you can press Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a Windows computer if you wanna start over and resize the cells. Now we're gonna merge all of the cells between cell A1 and R1. Now bring your mouse between one and two and then just drag that baby all the way down to row four. We're going to center our horizontal and vertical alignment, change our font and our font size, and then double tap the cell and type in habit tracker. Perfecto! Alrighty, so now let's give all of our habits a name. And this is totally up to you. You can personalize it however you want. It's basically like a bullet journal except on Excel, so personalize it, girl. All right, now that we have listed out all of our habits, we're gonna choose the colors for each of our cells. And again, this is totally up to you. Now we're gonna merge cells D2 and D3. Then we're gonna add a thin black border around this one. And now we're just gonna select this cell and drag it all the way over to column R. And now for each of these cells, you're just gonna fill in the days of the week. And I just went with the first letter of each day to keep it simple. Now we're gonna merge cells D4 to D6, add a thin black border, and now we're gonna click and drag this cell all the way to column R, and then drag it all the way down to your last habit. And now, as your days go by, you're gonna fill in your habits. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna fill in all the days that I have accomplished each of these habits. All right, people, look at me go. Now we're gonna merge cells T3 to U4, add a medium black border. Then we're gonna click and drag this cell over one. We're gonna center the horizontal and vertical alignment for both these cells, and then change the font and the font size. In the first cell on the left, you're gonna type in habits, and on the cell on the right, you're gonna type in days. And you can change the cell colors if you like. I changed mine to gray. All right, let's merge cells T5 and U6. Add a light black border. And now you're just going to drag this cell all the way down to as many habits as you have. I had six habits, so I made six cells. And now you're just going to copy all of these cells over one. All right. 
so now let's copy each of the habits into each of the cells underneath the habits list. All you do is select your first habit, then select command C if you have a Mac or control C if you have a Windows computer, and then go over to habits, select the first cell underneath habits, and press command V or control V. Alrighty, so now that you have copied all of your habits into the habits list, you're going to count how many days you accomplished each habit and write that number in the days list accordingly. Yay! Alright, so now select the habit cell, hold the shift key down, and select the last cell in the days column. Now go over to your menu and select insert and select the option for chart. And now we have a freaking chart on our excel sheet i don't know about you guys but i really like pie charts because i think they are so cool so let's just turn this into a pie chart for the fun of it in the chart editor on your right make sure you're on the data tab and now select chart type find the pie chart option and select the one that you like and this is what's going to happen to get rid of that all you have to do is select the option aggregate column t and wha bam you got a pie chart that charts your habit tracker that is so cool so now you get a visual of where you are spending the most time for your habits you have the option to customize your pie chart or chart in general just click the customize tab and you can play around with all those options all right mi gente and that is how you do a habit tracker on google excel you officially have the coolest habit tracker ever all right guys thank you so much for watching i really hope that you learned a ton in this one especially in this one because you learn how to make a graph which is pretty cool but yeah thank you again if you recreate this on excel make sure to tag us on instagram at claudia x greta we would love to see your recreations and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in our next video bye